This demonstration we're going to install an online responder. An online responder uses online certificate status protocol to provide a more efficient method for clients to determine the revocation status of a certificate. It uses HTTP for submitting certificate status requests. So what we're going to do at this point here is we're just going to install the service. So we've come on our certificate server. We're going to add roles and features. We're going to select our next button on the wizard. Go for role based or feature based installation. Do it for long serve one. And what we want to do here is we want to modify the Active Directory Certificate Services. So we'll just expand this up a little bit. I'm going to select the tick box for Online Responder. We're going to add the additional features and select Next. Then what we're going to do here is we're going to select Next again. And then select Install. So this is going to go in and install the Online Responder. So we'll just pause the presentation while the installation completes and then return back once the installation is complete. So the installation is now complete. So the next thing we're going to do here is just configure Active Directory Certificate Services on the destination server. We'll select Next. We'll select Online Responder and we'll select Next. And then what we'll do is we'll select Configure. Now this is going to go in and just configure Active Directory. We've now done that, so we'll select Close. And just close down the installation. Then we'll come up to Tools. And what we'll do here is we want to just launch up our Certification Authority. Just right click on date and route and just come to properties. And then we've come to extensions. Then what we'll do is we'll just scroll down here and we're going for our authority information access. We we'll select the add button. And then in the add location, what we need to do is we just need to specify the HTTP address for the OCSP service. And then we'll just select OK. And we select to include the EIA extension and we'll also include the online certificate status protocol extension as well. And then what we'll do at this point here is we'll just select OK. It's just telling us here that we must restart the Active Directory certificate services for the changes to take effect. Do I want to do it? Yes, I do. So we'll say yes. And we'll allow that to just do a restart. That's the services have restarted, so let's just expand up a datum root CA. The next thing we're going to do here is we're just going to come down and go to, go to our certificate templates folder. We're going to right click and we're going to select manage. Next thing we're going to do is we're just going to set up some permissions. So if we just look down here, what we're looking for is we're looking for our OCSP response signing. So we'll just right click here and what we'll do at this point now is we'll just come to the security tab after we've clicked on properties. You just want to give the enroll permission to authenticated users. So once we've done that, we'll select OK. And then we'll just close down the Certificate Templates console. We then just need to issue our template, so we'll just right click. We'll go to New and we'll go for a Certificate Template to issue. We we'll find the template we want to issue, which is this one. And we'll select OK. Now that's done, we'll just close down our certification authority wizard and we'll just come down here and what we're looking for is we're just looking for our online responder management. We just want to right click on revocation configuration and what we're going to do here is we are just going to click on our little button here and we're just going to add a revocation configuration. So in the wizard we'll select next in the name the revocation what we'll do at this point here is we're just going to put in a datum CA, online responder and select next. Then just select the CA certificate location. We're just going to leave the default of select a certificate for an existing enterprise CA and select next. Then on our choose CA certificate, we're going to browse through and we're just going to select our datum root CA and select OK. We'll select next. We 
we'll just make sure automatically select assigned certificate is radioed and we'll also make sure the tick box for auto enroll for OSP signing certificate is set up and we'll just verify that we have got the right certificate and we've got the right certificate template. Now we've done that we'll select next and then we'll select finish. And now we've configured our online responder and that's the end of this demonstration. Thanks very much.